What's up? This is Jake and Kristen with Hike 734, and today we're hiking to Granite Falls and Hainak Lakes in the southwest area of Rocky Mountain National Park. So we started out at the Green Mountain Trailhead and worked our way up around Big Meadow all the way up taking a left to Hainak Lakes and turned back and headed back to our car. When I did this back in 2019, the trail started out nice in a wooded area, but we're back here in 2023 because of a fire that came through and it is a different hiking experience. The fire just burned through here and just pretty much burned all of the trees, but it is a lot more open and uh, thankfully we're doing this in the fall when it's a little bit cooler, but man, in the summer, this would definitely be a scorcher. Uh, but yeah, it just follows up alongside this unnamed stream and and uh, yeah, you just get to see the cool rocky ridges around. And uh, yeah, just get to see these uh, cool pocket meadows in there. It's really, really a bunch of wet meadows. So um, they kind of feed this little stream and keep it going all year long. And uh, when I did this, I did it a little bit earlier in the year. So there's definitely more flowers. And um, yeah, just anyways, after a little bit of hoofing it, we um, eventually climbed up to the top and then it drops down to the beautiful big meadow and man that thing is just so pretty um this is a great great spot to see moose um and i'll show you some past moose footage that i got here and then um as we were walking along we got uh got to see a bull looks like he was chasing a cow as well so that was really cool and uh yeah and then earlier in the season there's just tons and tons of wildflowers and lots of birds and uh definitely some bugs as well so um if you do this like in july august just know that that's a thing uh, but yeah it's nice and golden as we wrapped our way around and um you just see the the burnt ridges around us but yeah we just continued on um, wrapping around going through uh just some more of the burn forest and then eventually as we um kind of got over onto the north side of it uh we found the boundary between some burned and unburned forest and uh, we spied that cow moose one more time and uh yeah, just continued on, wrapping through some more um, green trees, and then just as we got to the head of the meadow where Tanahutu Creek comes in, uh, we got to meet up with the creek and just got into the severely burned area again and just turned up that drainage and just started working our way up the drainage, just starting to gain some more elevation again and uh, yeah, just picking our way up through that. And yeah, eventually after going up and down and then up a lot more. Uh, we eventually worked our way all the way up to Granite Falls, which is just this beautiful, um, just cascade, just kind of slides right over the top of these big granite slabs. So it's really, really pretty as you get to see it just kind of turn and go away down into the drainage. And it's just really nice. Now actually with the burn, you get really good views. So um, you get to see a lot more of the falls from really um, some great vantages, but yeah, from there, um, we got to the top of that and it just opens up into some really big green meadows um, or golden meadows um, here in the fall. And um, yeah, so it's just kind of cool to, to be walking through that. And um, saw lots of moose sign, but no moose in this area, um, but just gradually worked our way and it started to climb a lot more steep. And then it just, you know, once again, traveling a lot through the uh, the burned areas, just kind of climbing over the, the knuckles of, of the ridges coming down, um, but getting some really cool looks up into the hillside and just going through different uh, little pocket meadows where it level out and then it would start climbing again. And uh, yeah, eventually we got to the last Tanahutu meadows there um, and getting to go alongside the creek. And then we started climbing up a lot more steeply as we went along this uh, traverse along the side of this hill and uh, we were close to the big grind and um, so we took a left to head on up uh, to Hainak Lakes and man the first um, I don't know quarter to a half mile is just a bruiser it is super steep and uh, it is once again it's still in the burn um, and we were just trying to figure out uh, how far up the burn went as we were catching our breath then eventually it starts to round off and you kind of get where it levels out a little bit and uh, here we entered back into the green forest so the the burn did not come up this this far and uh, yeah that was definitely a welcome respite and we just kind of continued on through that and then from there it just uh, paralleled oftentimes these little meadows um, and 
yeah, through the cool uh, subalpin fir. And uh, yeah, just worked its way along little ridges until we came to this huge meadow backdrop by Nokai Peak. And just so, so awesome. There's actually a little pond um, on the far end of it. But yeah, it's just really nice and level. If this is, if it is earlier in the year, um, you'll see a lot more wildflowers and it's a lot more squishy as you go through some of these sections here. But man, eventually we, uh, you cross out of that and it's, um, you think you're pretty close, but you're not very close. Um, there's still a ways to go um, as we, as you just go up and over little ridges there. And so we, we definitely kept feeling like every, around every corner we'd finally get there. Um, but yeah, it kind of works its way giving you a tour of the head of this valley. And eventually it comes to this really cool little meadow that just, just drops right down into the lovely Hanak Lakes. And there's just a bunch of really cool ponds. You see one um, just downstream, down the valley there. And uh, just super pretty, lots of pike. I got to see some of those and um, just big fish that swim inside of this lake, but just such a, a cool spot. And it is, it's a lot of work to get up here. Um, and so there's not a lot of people that come up here. So if you're willing to put in a lot of effort, you'll go ahead and get a lot of reward and a really, really pretty fall day for us. And it's really kind of cool to see the, the change after the burn and um, lots of birds. And like I said, I um, not a lot of wildflowers this time of year, but loads of flowers when I did this the first time, and uh, they should be here uh, any July and August. Anyways, this is Jake and Kristen with Hike 734, hiking to Hanak Lakes in the southwest area of Rocky Mountain National Park. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and head on over to hike734.com for more goodness.